but find yourself in a comfortable seated position. And that can be either um, cross-legged if that feels good, or maybe bringing the soles of your feet together. Hey, Catherine. If it feels good to stretch your legs out long, take whatever option is most comfortable for you on your mat. And again, as always, allow your eyes to close if that feels good. Another option, if you um, want a little bit more opening in the hips, if you have a block or something sturdy, even a big book or a couple of books stacked together, you can even um, place that underneath your seat and sit on that. And then if you keep your legs crossed, um, it just allows your knees to drop a little bit um, closer to the earth, brings your hips up and your knees down. So find what's comfortable for you. And just begin to settle in. Settle onto your mat, feel the air temperature touching your skin. Notice the parts of your body that are touching the mat and just become aware of that sensation. Maybe notice any sounds that you may hear. And see if you can differentiate the sounds that are more distant. And then bring your awareness to the sounds that are nearby. Maybe even your own heartbeat. Always find length through the spine, sitting tall, allow the shoulders to melt down away from the ears. And just begin to notice the breath here. See if you can make the inhale and the exhale match, or see if you can make the exhale last a little bit longer than the inhale. So as you exhale, you feel the belly contract as it completely empties before you take the next inhalation. And then from here, we'll inhale, bring our arms up into goalpost or cactus arms. So your elbows are level with your shoulders here. Inhale and slightly arch the back, maybe gaze up. And then exhale, round forward, arch the spine, and then bring the forearms to touch together. So we're just kind of doing a seated variation of cat-cow. So inhale, goal post arms, arch the back, look up. And then exhale, forearms come together, round the spine, tuck the chin. One more time, inhale, look up. And exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin. Open the arms, cactus arms, and then reach the arms up tall. Inhale here, and then exhale, we'll take a side bend over to our right. So right hand comes down, left arm goes up and over. You can find a bend in the right elbow here. Inhale, back up to center, and on your exhale, take it to the left. 
And we'll just do a flow here. So inhale on your way up, exhale other side. Moving with your breath, inhale, lift. Exhale to your left. And then maybe as your spine begins to warm up, maybe you notice that your forearm can come closer to the mat as you do your side bends. On your next inhale, both arms sweep up, look up towards the sky, and exhale, twist to your right. Left hand to right knee, right hand kick stands behind, and then option to gaze over right shoulder, or if you want a more um, complete twist in the spine, the cervical spine, you can take your gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, and exhale, twist. Inhale, arms go up, look up, and then exhale, twist to your left. Option to take gaze over the left shoulder, or if you want a little bit more of a twist, option to gaze over right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist. And then from here, we'll come back to center and we'll make our way towards the top of the mat. We'll do a few half sun salutation A here. So hip can be feet, hip, feet can be hip width distance apart. Hands come to the sides, palms facing forward. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. And then exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. You can have a deep bend in the knees if you need it. Inhale, halfway lift with a flat back, and exhale, fold. Inhale, arms sweep skyward, and exhale, hands come to heart center. Again, inhale, sweep the arms up, and exhale, take it down. Halfway lift brings you up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms sweep skyward. Hands come together and exhale, hands come to heart center. One more time, inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms sweep skyward. And exhale, draw the hands to the heart center. From here, we'll do sun salutation B. So we'll sit back into our chair, sweep the hands down towards the mat, and then bring them up towards the sky. Sit back low. See if you can take any arch in the lower back out. So tuck your tailbone just a tad. Weight is distributed through all four corners of the feet and actually send a little bit more weight into the heels here. If you notice tension in your shoulders, you can bring your hands down or your arms down to shoulder length, shoulder height. Keep breathing here, beginning to feel the fire in the quads here. And then exhale, fold and step back into your high plank. Inhale, shift forward and exhale, chaturanga, either halfway down or all the way to your belly. Inhale, cobra or up dog and exhale, downward facing dog. On your inhale, right leg steps forward, warrior one. Dial the left foot down, reach the arms up high. Hips are square to the front of your mat. Deep bend in the right knee. Relax the shoulders and just breathe. For a count of three, two, one. Hands come down to frame the right foot. Send the right foot back, high plank, and then move through your vinyasa here. Once you come to downward facing dog, left foot steps forward for warrior one. Inhale as you rise. 
take the time here to set up your foundation. So deep bend in the left knee. Your right foot is angled at about a 45 degree angle and your hips are square towards the front of the mat. If you find that you're opening up to the right, maybe take your foot, your right foot and um, step it out closer to the right edge of your mat. Arms reach up, shoulders are relaxed. Deep in the left knee. And then come down, step it back into your high plank and flow through a vinyasa here. Inhale for cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deepen in the knees here. Bring the chest towards the thighs. Gaze between your hands and step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. And exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Sit back into your chair. Toes can be touching. Tuck the tailbone, squeeze inner thighs together, shoulders relaxed. For three, two, and one. Forward fold, exhale. And then from here, we'll step left foot back. And we can either take runner's lunge, so left knee can be lifted, or you always have the option to bring left knee to the mat. Right knee is stacked over the ankle, whichever option you choose. Inhale, kind of begin to shine your heart forward and look up. And then exhale, straighten the right knee and take it back into a pyramid pose. Option to flex the right toes, if that feels good. And then we'll take this with a flow. So inhale back to runner's lunge, gaze up, heart goes forward. Exhale, straighten the right knee, head comes down towards the shin. Inhale, come forward, runner's lunge, look up, and then exhale, straighten the right knee. One more time, come forward, heart goes forward. And then from here, we'll move into a crescent lunge. So on the ball of your left feet, Hands reach up, breathe here. See if you can bend the right knee again, stacked over the right ankle. Inhale, and then exhale, thunderbolt. So we lower the torso towards the right thigh, creating one long line from our left heel all the way to our fingertips. Breathe here. Try not to allow your, your waist or your, your torso to to rest on your thigh, but you're lifting through the core. Bring hands to heart center, and then push off your left toes towards warrior three. Seeing if you can create a straight line from left heel to crown of head. Hips are square. And then without allowing left foot to touch the mat, Begin to bring left leg forward into a one-legged mountain. So left leg is bent, left foot is flexed. Reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, bring right hand to the outside of left knee and left arm behind for a standing twist. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, hands come back to center. We look up, up towards the sky. And then the left foot comes down, forward fold. Option to flow through a vinyasa here or meet us in down dog or child's pose. Exhale as you lower down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a breath here, a full cycle of breath. Fill up. 
and then open the mouth, let it go. Right foot steps forward, runner's lunge. I'm sorry, take it back. Left foot steps forward, runner's lunge. And then option to either keep the right knee lifted or towards the mat, whichever you prefer. Send the heart forward, gaze up, maybe come up to your fingertips, or if you have blocks or books, blocks or books, you can use those to bring the earth closer to you too. So inhale, look up. Exhale, straighten the left knee. Head comes towards left shin. Inhale, go forward. Exhale, take it back. So just moving with your breath. You don't have to be in sync with me. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, one time, one more time, go forward, runner's lunge. And then from here, we'll lift our arms up to the sky for crescent lunge. Find your balance, find your drishti, that location that you can stare at that doesn't move. Inhale, exhale, exhale thunderbolt. So lower torso towards left thigh, arms outstretched long. One long line from right heel to fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center, and then push off your right toes to find warrior three. It's okay if you kind of wobble and find your way there. Right foot is flexed, hips are square. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, one-legged mountain. See if you can come forward without allowing right foot to touch. And then knee comes to chest. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, twist to your right. So left hand comes to the outside of right knee. Swing the right arm back. See if you can gaze either to your right or even behind you towards right thumb. Find your balance. Breathe here. Inhale, come back to center, arms reach high. Exhale, right foot meets the left and forward fold. Option to flow through a vinyasa here, stepping back into high plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Two full rounds of breath here. Take your time. One. And two. From here, we'll walk towards the front of our mat and lower down onto your seat. And we'll move into boat pose. So we'll do some core work here. Your knees are bent, soles of feet to the mat. See if you can lean back and have a long spine here. Hands come behind the knees and then lift your feet up off the floor. See if you can create um, a parallel line with your shins. And then if you want, allow the hands to release, level with your shins here. Notice if you're collapsing through the chest, see if you can open up. And then we're just gonna alternate straightening one leg at a time. So right leg straightens, inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale. Alternating left and right leg. Taking your time, activating the core. Right leg straightens. See if you can hover it over the mat for five, four, three, two, one. Left leg straightens. Five, four, three, two, and one. We can release. Again, if you have a block, a book, a bottle of water, 
Um, if you have anything like that nearby, go ahead and grab it and we'll do a little bit more core work using that. If you don't have anything, just imagine you have something in your hands. So we'll come back into boat pose, grab onto whatever object you have, if you have it, extend the right leg, and we're just gonna pass it through as we alternate our legs. So left straightens and right straightens, passing the block, the bottle, or the book through the legs as you alternate. Keep breathing. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Release it if you had anything. Lower down into low boat pose. So legs extend, shoulders up off the mat, arms out long, flutter kick the feet. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back up. You can allow your feet to rest on the mat. Take a breath for one moment. We've got one more, one more core work to do, and then you're done. So find yourself in boat pose. Knees can be bent, but if you can, see if you can challenge yourself to straighten the legs. We're gonna see if we can hold it for five seconds. Even if you do one, that's okay. So see if you can straighten the legs and release the arms. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release everything down and find your way to your belly. Smile, the core work is done. And we'll move into locust pose from here. So you lower everything to the belly. Palms can come underneath the shoulders, lower the forehead to the mat. And then on the inhale, see if you can lift the torso and palms and the forehead up off the mat. Exhale, lower. Inhale, same thing. See if you can lift thighs and feet off the mat this time. Exhale to lower. Inhale, same thing. Lift everything up off the mat. Option to extend the arms out long behind you. See if you can lift the thighs up one more inch. Breathe and exhale. And then from here, we'll move into bow pose. So we'll bend at the knees and see if hands can clasp onto the ankles or shins, tops of feet, whatever you can reach. Inhale here to prepare and exhale. Inhale, lift everything up off the mat. Opposing forces, hands push into the feet. Knees draw in together. Shoulders roll back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift one inch higher. And exhale, lower everything down to the mat. From here, bring palms underneath the shoulders. Push yourself up, and then we'll bring the right leg in for half pigeon. Always the option to take this supine if you prefer. So right leg is as parallel to the front of your mat as possible. Always look back at the left foot, and the left toe should disappear behind your foot. So your foot is not pointing left or right. Inhale. And then exhale, you can lower down to whatever level you feel comfortable at. See if you can distribute the weight evenly between both hips. So often we'll tend to lean our weight over to the left. See if you can bring it back to midline. And just breathe. Some of you may be able to come to your forearms. Some may be able to stretch the arms out long and bring forehead to mat. Just go to wherever is comfortable for you, where you can easily breathe. Stay for the inhale. 
and stay for the exhale. Option to stay here, or if you'd like to try mermaid pose, you can kind of roll your weight over to the right hip, bend the left leg, and then maybe you're able to hold on to the left foot, or maybe the foot can come inside the elbow crease. From here, reach right arm up on your inhale, and then exhale, see if you can bind the hands behind your head. So you just get a little bit more stretch in the quads here. And if your arm, your foot doesn't reach inside your elbow crease, good place for using a yoga strap. So you can bring the foot closer with a strap and kind of work your way towards mermaid position. Wherever you are, gently release, and then we'll take it to pigeon on the other side. So left foot forward, right foot back. Find your length first, and then slowly make your way down to whatever level is comfortable for you and distribute the weight evenly between both hips. A lot of tension in the hips and there may be one side that's much tighter than the other, so that's normal. You may not be able to mirror the pose on both sides. So honor your body. Breathe into it. Release any tension in the jaw. Release tension in the shoulders. Stay here if you like. If you took mermaid on the other side and you wanna try it on this side, now shift your weight over a little bit to the left hip. And then right foot comes into the crease of your elbow. Left arm reaches up, and on your exhale, hands bind behind the head for quad stretch here. Wherever you are, gently release. And from here, we'll roll back onto our backs. And then let's take our feet as wide as the mat and just tick tock our knees from side to side. Just allow them to drop right, left. Moving slow, release tension in the hips and the low back. And then from here, knees come into chest. Give it a good squeeze. Rock from side to side. Or maybe you wrap forearms around the shins, lift head and shoulders up off the mat and bring forehead to knees and just make yourself into a tight, tight ball. Whatever you choose to do here, maybe it feels better just to rock from side to side and massage the sacrum. Or maybe drawing figure eights would feel better. So hands cup on top of the knees and just imagine drawing the shape of an eight on the ceiling above, going in both directions. And then you have a little bit of time here to take any final pose that your body needs right now. So maybe that's a bridge, maybe it's wheel, maybe shoulder stand, just listen to your body. Sometimes it feels good to do a bit of an inversion. So I like to place a block underneath my sacrum, right where my waistband is, and allow my hips to rest there, and then just send my legs up with my feet flexed. Gentle bend in the knees, so it's, it's like legs up the wall, but without the wall. And just allow the blood to take an opposite direction all the oxygen rich blood that we created. 
So take whatever feels good to you. Making sure you take both sides if you chose an asymmetrical pose. And then if you're ready, slowly begin to make your way into the final pose of our practice today. Shavasana. So maybe for you, that's creating a star shape, sitting out wide, arms and legs extended, feet splayed out. Maybe it's shoulders down, maybe soles of the feet together. Allow the eyes to close if they aren't already. And then just notice how your body feels now after your practice. Notice if anything came up for you physically, emotionally, mentally. Let go of the breath here, allow it to move freely. And just travel up and down the body. Notice any areas of tension And let it go. You earned this rest period. So let go of anything that is not serving you right now. Allow your body to completely surrender into the mat. Shavasana. You can slowly invite small movements back into the body if you're ready. Always welcome to stay and rest as long as you're able to or as you want to. Maybe roll the wrists and the ankles. Take a big long stretch, reaching in opposite directions. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Part the lips and sigh it out. 
One more time, deep inhale, biggest breath of the day. Let it go. Make your way into a seated position if you're ready. We'll bring hands to heart center, allowing the thumbs to connect with the chest. The light in me sees and honors the light in each of you. Namaste.